welcome to my channel. My name is Ronica, AKA Little Miss Skin Expert. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my April favorites. I'm really excited to do this because it's the first time I've ever done a video like this before. And I have a lot of favorites, so this might be a long video, I'm sorry, but you know, I'll have everything listed below. And, uh, but I just really felt like doing a video like this because I think it's really helpful for a lot of people when they're trying to find good products, you know, but don't wanna like, you know, like you get overwhelmed in, especially going into like any of these cosmetic stores because there's just so much and it's like, okay, well now what? <laughs> but I hope you guys find this very helpful and that's what this is all about. It's just giving you guys my recommendations and my favorites. What I'm here to do is to share with you my favorites and the things that have been, that are really beneficial. So, and really cool. <laughs> all right, so without further ado, Let's get started. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love your guys' feedback. I love the fact that you guys are having dialogues with me on on here. This is what this channel is all about, is giving you the best trends and recommends. So I just went on Paula's Choice website, and so the purpose of this is to clear pores of daily debris and pollution, plus brighten skin with a blend of antioxidants, salicylic acid, and other skin fortifying ingredients. So one of the things that I really have noticed with this product is this, the brightening effect. And another thing that I've noticed is the redness coming down in my skin. So there are ingredients such as licorice root, and green tea and those two for sure are going to be anti-inflammatory but the salicylic acid that was mentioned in their website description is definitely an anti-inflammatory and so i have noticed a huge difference in evening out my skin it's also helped tame down the redness so then when i do go in and apply my makeup it's like brighter it it actually looks um brighter it looks less red and irritated you know i'm not just covering it up with product so this is definitely my holy grail ride or die product and i highly recommend this one next product is by paula's choice as well this is the enrich calming toner and this is designed for dry or very dry skins as well as sensitive skins so one thing, okay, so I'll just read you the description. This is a hydrating toner that soothes dry, flaky skin. It helps revitalize and recover moisture loss. And uh, it has, in, it's infused with anti-aging antioxidants. And so one thing about Paula's Choice products is in all of her products, she does add antioxidants. And I think she actually mentions that on when she went live on her social media and just discussed how she loves to put antioxidants in every product. And I think that is great. And so with that, you know, you know, antioxidants help fight against free radicals in the air. And so free radicals, if not, if you don't have anything protecting against that, it's actually going to cause your skin to be uh, less luster and healthy looking it actually triggers aging so you do want products that are designed and have um, antioxidants built inside now this is where also packaging is very important so having a packaging that is tightly you know in protecting the antioxidants is important as well as not exposing it to light um, so I reached out to them and I actually wanted to know if it'd be okay to put this into a spray bottle because with the spray bottle it's going to help me to distribute it throughout the face a little bit more and so what I did was I put it in the bottle like this and what's nice about these types of bottles is it helps prevent light from going into the product I made sure that this is tightly uh, closed up and then I just spray it all over the face I only use this product when I'm feeling dry so there are occasions where my skin does feel a lot drier than other days. I am a normal, slightly dry, slightly oily type skin type. So having a product that isn't going to cause too much oil, pumping it out and you know just creating more of an oily mess is something that I am more interested in and just keeping my skin in a happy place. So I use this actually in place of my moisturizer because there are a lot of hydrating ingredients in it. After I've gotten out of the shower and I still feel dry, then I will add some kind of emollient to the skin. I don't like to overdo it just because I don't want to create my skin to break out and so I really just moisturize in the areas that are dry as needed so I know that's like a myth for you know and I think that that should be busted out because people think that you should moisturize every day 
in my opinion and what I have experienced in my own skin and on my clients is moisturize in the areas that are dry as needed has been the best they've I've noticed the most results the better results and so I would just recommend that I know this is gonna be kind of weird <laughs> well maybe for some of you guys but um, I wanted to share this with you guys so this is the Yardley activated charcoal um, moisturizing bath bar and I've been actually using this this month and I really like it and so I've been using it actually in the areas like my underarms and my feet uh, that I tend to have a little bit of issues with so it's supposed to be purifying and cleansing and so this does have ingredients such as um, the charcoal so charcoal is going to be more of a absorber and it does help to neutralize some of the stench <laughs> uh, but there's also coconut um i believe in this there's let's see here i'm just reading the ingredients yeah coconut oil so coconut oil oil is an actual actually an excellent skin emollient and so then you're not dealing with like being over dried out under there or in the feet or wherever you're planning on using it but that was one of the products that I wanted to mention to you guys because I do suffer from underarm issues I didn't want to pay a lot of money for like a mask or anything to help detoxify that so I just felt like I needed to change up my cleansing routine and my showering routine so I do use body washes because I don't like to use a lot of bath bars because they tend to uh, clog my skin up as well as um, make me feel a little too dry so this was something that I picked up that I ended up really liking in using it in those areas that I mentioned yeah the another product that I picked up at the drugstore were these guys right here so these are lip uh, therapy like balms now I don't particularly love the fact that they come in these little tins because of the bacteria cross-contamination issue however I have been using them and they have been helping my chapped lips they're like four bucks I get these I pick these up at Rite Aid and they come in like different scents um, as you guys know I'm not a big fan of aroma but you know they don't seem to cause any irritation it's listed pretty low on the list here but what I liked about it was that it has titanium dioxide so titanium dioxide is a mineral and it actually helps protect the skin and it's a skin protectant and I really love that and I think that that's been also very beneficial to protecting my lips against the sun and the environment so I have been loving these and I wanted to share them with you guys guys I cannot tell you enough about this product I use this today I use it every day actually because I love it so much this is the Milani prime and protect primer I love this primer I love that it doesn't cause any issues with any breakouts but I love how it makes the skin look like I just um, have noticed that it's a, it's such a great primer in keeping the longevity of the makeup looking much fresher and not I don't know it's just I can't get enough of it but one of the things that are really beneficial about it too is that it has SPF in it so for those of you who don't like to wear sunscreen then this one you might want to consider because this has a built-in sunscreen in it now the built-in the built-in sunscreen that's in it is avabenzone some of my clients have been um, allergic to avabenzone, but I would suggest using doing like a patch test, maybe doing it on your arm, keep the receipt. If it's for some reason an issue, then return it. But I, ha I don't have any issues with avabenzone, but avabenzone is considered a chemical sunscreen. And I really love the fact that it does give you a lot more protection, but some of us are sensitive to it. So we have to use the alternative, which would be a mineral sunscreen. That's up to you guys, but I can tell you guys this has been a great primer and the fact that I can, you know, use it as a primer and a sunscreen and then it has some antioxidants built in there such as vitamins A, C, and E, that's great too. So it helps neutralize a lot of these free radicals that are in the environment. So that's on my top list as well. Oh my gosh, so I picked this up and I was actually, I was at Ulta when I picked it up. I sprayed it on my face, I walked out, went out about my business, did my errands, and then I went to the, I don't know, I went to the bathroom to go like freshen up and I look at my skin, I'm like, gosh, my skin looks really good today. And I was like, what did I do differently? Well, one of the things that I had done differently was use this dew set. Oh my gosh, this dewy set mist by Anastasia Beverly Hills is really awesome. Now. This is just the packaging. It's not glittery or anything like that. Um, but 
I just love how like it just makes the skin look like dewy and I don't know hydrated looking so now when I first initially put it on I did notice a little bit of um, stickiness but nothing too like uh, annoying and I noticed throughout the day the stickiness did go away so I had put this on this morning and it's now like 12 it's almost one o'clock and so I've had it on for quite for a few hours now what I like about it is the fact that it does keep that it does help create that effect on the skin and so this is definitely it's not a setting spray so FYI don't use it as a don't consider it a setting spray but definitely use it like a spray that's going to make your skin look really good <laughs> last month I went a little crazy with ColourPop I love ColourPop's products but I really love their eyeshadows and so I ended up picking up two of their palettes the first one um, was the sweet talk palette and this is from their spring collection and then the misunderstood palette which is from the villains collection and i'm actually wearing both of them today um, one of the reasons why i really love this pro particular uh, shade range is because they're all wearable they don't just like like you can get do yourself like you know create like a daytime wearable look or you can create drama using like some of these deeper warmer shades in the palette now this one right here is a super shock formula. So to me, this is more of a, a topper for your eyes, which is what I used um, right along the top of my lid to give it more of that glittery effect. These guys right here are pressed glitters. So that is new for ColourPop. And what I would suggest when using those is using like a glitter glue. That'll really help create a, uh, a base for the glitter to adhere to. And then for this uh, palette for what I used was I used this shade Mongrels um, as my inner corner highlight and what I liked about it is just how bright it is and then I used the 101 shade because there wasn't a black shade in that palette to just kind of give me a little bit of a smokier effect on the outer corners and uh, of the eye so you can use that as an aligner as well so both of these are my top two um, palettes for this month I think that they're easy to use there are you know maybe with the villains palette there's a lot of shimmer shades in here but you can make it work um, I wanted something from their formula I love I love the villains collection I love Disney so that was just something that also was pretty impulsive but if you're looking for something more like on the springier uh, side I would totally check this one out because this one is definitely one that you can do a lot of looks with that are very um bright and spring like so i only have one bronzer to share with you guys and for those of you who do follow me on my instagram my handle name is little miss skin expert then you guys know i have been using this a ton so this is the uh morphe's uh glamour bronze bronzer i mean look at how huge this thing is but the fact that the, the shade is really great i love this bronzer i've been using it every single day to just warm up the complexion I, i'm using the shade icon and you know when i went in the store i think they have like four of them but i love this bronzer i mean it's very just it doesn't it's not it doesn't lean too warm it's not too cool it's just like a perfect bronze shade and you know for the size of it I love the fact that you get a lot of product from them so this is my, one of my favorite bronzers for April actually forever <laughs> don't let this go away okay for highlighters so I use highlighters quite a bit and you know I'm kind of picky about highlighters especially because I don't like it showing a lot of texture I want it to be somewhat complimenting uh well i want it to be complimenting but i don't want it to be to the point where it's so blinding that uh it's just too much on my complexion so i was a little picky this month about my highlighters but let's start with the first one so this is from the villains collection by color pop this is the one shade called uh, maleficent mistress of all evil i swatched this in the store this is for their super shock formula but what's beautiful about it is the fact that it's like gives it kind of like a wet look. So I am using that in the center of my nose um, and just to kind of give it that wet uh, skin like look. And I really, really love this. So the way that I use this is over a powder and then I just use my fingers to apply it. And this is definitely 
a favorite of mine. The second highlighter is a drugstore brand by Wet n Wild <laughs> and I picked up the shade Bloom Time and I'm actually wearing that just here on the upper cheek area and it's like a peachy kind of gold shade look um, kind of highlighter. So what I love about it is the shade isn't like to lean too on the gold side. I would say it leans more on the peachier uh, side. So I really like that on the complexion. You know, it's not chunky. It's very nice and it gives my skin kind of an airbrush look to it. So that one and it's affordable. I mean, this thing is like what four or five dollars maybe even less. You could probably get it at Walmart a lot cheaper. Um, I did try ordering this on Ulta's website, but they kept messing up on the shade. Uh, I, you know, I don't, <laughs> it's tricky because these guys, this is where the shade uh, name is and on the back it doesn't have it. So <laughs> that's something that maybe Wet n Wild needs to think about maybe adding it to the back as well because, you know, when you're ordering it online, then the only concern would be is, are you giving me the right shade? Okay, so the next highlighter that I am going to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. So this came out in her spring uh, launch and I got the shade So Hollywood. What I love about it is the how it's like a loose highlight. And uh, I got the shade So Hollywood because I felt like this was a shade that I could really use uh, a lot. So I'm gonna just swatch it for you guys. And it is a more of a golden kind of highlighter. I don't know if the, the camera's picking that up. But I love the fact that you can build on this one. So if you don't want it to be so packed on and blinding and where it's just too much, then you can just apply it very slowly and just build upon that. So that's the one thing I do appreciate about this formula and the style of having it being a loose highlighter. I would just suggest that you use this on tacky skin. So I like to use this when I'm using the uh, Dewy Set Mist and then taking a fan brush and really just applying it to the skin because then you're able to really get more of a, I don't know, skin-like sheen. So that is the Loose Highlighter by Anastasia. So I had recently started getting hooked on different blushes. I am a MAC blush girl. I love MAC's formulas. I also love Tarte's. But I was like, you know, I'm splurging way too much on prestige brands. I want to venture out and see what drugstore brands have to offer. So I went ahead and I picked up the Milani Powder Baked Blushes. And this is the shade Berry Amour. And I love this shade. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. And... I just love how pigmented they really are. It's it's like a little bit goes a long way. You don't have to go overboard with these because the pigment payoff is excellent. And so there is a little bit of a shimmer to it, but like, I mean, it's not totally like shimmery kind of blush. I would just suggest just uh, picking out a shade. Like I find that Barry Amore isn't as um, shimmery as opposed to like, like uh, this one here, this one is called Dolce Pink. This one has a lot more shimmer in it. So, you know, they, but I love the, the pigmentation payoff. So this is D Dolce Pink and I have used this quite a bit, but I highly recommend them. They're very affordable. You know, you can go on their website and sometimes get coupons online, or you could just pick it up at your local Ulta or Target, Walmart, so that's the convenience of that. Now I did pick up a couple shades from their website that are exclusive to their own website, um, but I haven't tested those out yet to really, you know, finalize my opinion about the shade, but I highly recommend their, uh, the formula. I think it's a great, great blush, and it's a great blush because of the, the price point, the pigmentation, little goes a long way, and it's very complimentary to a lot of skin tones. Now these are not technically like old products. These are, but these are new products to me. So I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. So I typically love to use my L'Oreal's Brow uh, Stylist Definer. I love it because it's a drugstore brand uh, pencil that you can easily build upon and give gives me a very natural looking brow as opposed to a very structured brow. Um, but I wanted to pick up something a little bit softer that wasn't too dark on me because I use the shade brunette. So this soft brown I really love because it's like a taupier kind of brown. And I really love how the shade looks in 
you know, compared to like my hair. So I've been using this in conjunction with my gimme brow in shade four so i normally pick up shade three but i had noticed that shade three was looking a little too pale on me and it wasn't really like picking up it just didn't look as um natural i just felt like it was a little too light and you know in the past my hair was a lot lighter and now it's darkened up quite a bit so i picked up the shade four and i've been really happy with it so those two are new shades for me not technically new products but new products to my collection for this month oh my god you know ColourPop and their lipsticks are so good so good okay so i picked up quite a few shades let's start with the villains collection i picked up the shades uh hades which is what i'm wearing today i picked up the shade dr facilier and I picked up the shade Evil Queen. So Evil Queen is the only matte shade that I have in the from the collection, but I'll just show you, this one is Dr. F uh, Facilier, and I love this shade. I mean, look at that. You could totally, that's a totally wearable type of terracotta-y, mauve-y, I don't know how to describe it, kind of lipstick shade. And then um, you guys all know I love wearing nudes. This is the shade Hades, and that's a nice peachy kind of nude. And then the last one is um, Evil Queen, and this is an awesome red shade. Uh, I love that it's kind of leans on the, you know, blue uh, on the spectrum of the reds. And so, I but I most importantly love the longevity of these lipsticks. I don't get dried out. I don't. I find that they're very opaque. They're not like there's no like weird fragrance you know how like sometimes when you use uh lipsticks especially drugstore brands i find that there's a weird funny scent that comes off of the the lipsticks so uh these don't have that which i really love and then the other lipsticks by ColourPop that i picked up and i love these shades so much these are from their spring collection this is the shade you're thriving and i love this shade so you're thriving is is like a pinky kind of shade I don't know, but it's an everyday corally pinky kind of shade, and I love that. That's also a creme formula, and then the last one I picked up is Tea Time. I wanted something a little bit bolder, something deeper, but not like, you know, I didn't want it to be red. So this is a great alternative to that. So actually, these two right here look pretty similar when I swatch them on my arm. So this one was Dr. Facilier, and this one's called Tea Time. So I think either one of those you can pick up and then you wouldn't they would be very similar and the formulas are actually similar too so those are highly recommended by me guys we are down to the wire and i'm really really excited to share these with you i was really excited when they did the launch and i was really excited to get them in my inventory so these are the persona cosmetics lip glosses she came out with three shades the first shade that i have here is peach this is the lightest shade from her collection and I'll just swatch that for you. What I love about this is that it's just so, you know, like you could wear it by itself. I am wearing that right now over my lipstick, uh, Hades. It's kind of deepened a little bit just because I had other lipstick on and then I took it off and then I put Hades on and then I put that on, but that's another story. <laughs> um, but I really love that, you know, the shade of this because it's very spring-like, it's very summery, and glasses are back, so... I'm really happy to have that shade and I wear that one a lot. And the next shade that I wear a lot as well is this shade called Honey. And Honey is leans a little bit more on the brown uh, nude uh, spectrum. And I love the shade because, you know, you can wear this. You can wear either one of these as a topper on top of a lipstick. But it's so beautiful with or without you know, a lipstick underneath. And then the last shade that is in the collection, which I've actually worn when I've uh, done like a bronzy kind of look, is this shade called Toffee. And you know, being, being an, um, as old as I am, <laughs> Uh, this brings back a lot of memories for me. I find this shade to be like a shade that I used to wear back in the day. I'm glad that they brought it back. Uh, you know, not that it should be like considered that, but it, on me it looks kind of retro. <laughs> but um, anyhow, these are the uh, the three lip glosses. The formula is amazing. I can't get enough of the fact that it's just not sticky. It's very hydrating. You know, and it's. You know, I wouldn't say it's like opaque because you could still see your own lips, which I really appreciate, but there is something there. So, you know, no matter what, if you get the, the three, the trio, 
I think it's highly worth it and I think you guys definitely should get all three versus just getting the one I mean all three of them you know they're so good they're so good and the formula is so good but okay I wanted to talk to you guys the last about the last thing the last thing I saved because they are tools and I am huge on tools I think that tools are important when getting the best application possible as well as skincare I think skincare being number one but tools are important too I think that if you want to get the most out of your product you should have invest in some tools that are good so I want to talk to you guys about the first one so the first one is the Nanchi blush and bronze bronzing brush I have been using this a lot lately and I loved how domey this is so like I can really just get in here I can get up here and it just buffs it out without you know taking the product off and it's soft it's a synthetic brush the handle is really good uh, so I have been using this and I really really love it and I highly recommend it I think that they're all of their brushes are really great but I have my favorites of course you know that work for my face shape my skin and so uh but this one definitely is now a top favorite um as far as nanchi brushes go i had recently invested in the uh jeffree star morphe collaboration uh brushes and i came down to having two favorite brushes that they created so this is the first one this is the js3 and what i love about this one is i can really get in here and contour the face if i'm using whether it be a powder product or even a uh a cream product but i really love the shape of this i don't have anything like this in my collection i love how ergonomically friendly this brush is and it's just so cool I mean look at that it's pink <laughs> so but more importantly the performance of it is great and so I've been using this quite a bit to contour my you know my cheekbones and up here a little bit so I like to when I contour I go one two three so I just create a three shape and I find that that works really well on a lot of skin shapes and uh, face shapes I'm sorry and so this is definitely a top favorite of mine from that collection and the other one I really love is this one this is the GS2 now I love it because it's so flimsy so when I have like powder baking on my face I just use this to really take it off but I also love like when I have fallout I could just and it comes right off I mean it's just a great brush I don't have anything like this I'm sure you can use this for other things but this is what I use it for and I don't have anything like this in my collection other than you know what I have now from him and Morphe and so this is the JS2 and I love this one I think eventually they may come out with a brush the brushes individually available but I think it's worth investing in the collection I use all of them I use all the eye brushes um, but these ones made the the mark here for April so that's my favorites well guys that completes my April faves I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe let me know what you guys are gonna pick up and tell me what your favorites are what did you see that you saw in my video that you enjoyed the most all right you guys I'll see you guys soon see ya